Hi there, hope you're doing great today. Here's Phil from Rich Returns. I want to show you some quick tricks to better process exchanges, which means less time for you on exchanges, more time like working on the business, also better customer experience and also more money in your business and less refunds, right? So uh, maybe this screen looks familiar to you. Uh, we're in Google Sheets and I work with a lot of merchants that process their returns in Google Sheets, right? So their sheet will look something like order number. They might have something like customer name, customer email, uh, something like product one, product one reason, right? Um, and then I have something like product one uh, resolution, right? And they have this for, I don't know, five products or something, right? Which is tough. It's doable when you have like one order or have two orders, but if you have a hundred orders or you're doing a thousand and you're thinking about scaling your business and providing better customer support, this becomes tricky at some point, right? Then you probably have something like, uh, maybe like send them a prepaid label like manually by hand and something like received return, right? And then they have to fill this out, right? So order number, customer name. At the end of the day, it's a lot of work for you. You have zero data. You, you have no idea why customers are returning the product, right? Return reasons are not standardized. Like each customer does not see them, cannot select them or something. Uh, exchanges are not standardized, which means you're losing huge amounts of money because it's super complicated for customers first to get in touch, then check on your inventory, then basically discuss a possible resolution for an exchange. And I want to show you a better way to do this, right? Uh, so we have a very popular app on the Shopify App Store, right? So Shopify is a place where you can install applications. Uh, it's called Rich Returns. Uh, you can take it for free for a spin. Um, we have a free trial. And you get a lot of different things when you install the application, right? So you get one central dashboard where you can, uh, let's jump in here, where you can see and manage all your returns, right? If you have staff, you can give them access to the dashboard and they can process all the returns in a central place, right? It's not like going into the Shopify dashboard and clicking return started for your customer. Like the customer literally goes and makes the return themselves, right? I'm gonna show you this next. So the second part of, of rich returns is the portal that you receive as a merchant and it's completely branded your style, right? And you can directly integrate this into your store, right? So for example, you can change the logo, you can change the background, uh, image, you can change all colors, you can change the text, right? So it really looks like it comes directly from you, right? And it's open 24 seven, right? So the customer does not need to reach out to you and ask like, hey, uh, you know, I wanna make a return, right? Or I wanna exchange a product, do you have it a size smaller, right? They can just go in there. And the nice thing is from a merchant perspective, you're still fully in control, right? So you can say, these customers can return products, right? For example, you can exclude certain orders based on order tech, let's say Black Friday or something like this, which is coming up in a few months, by the way. Let's just jump into, a, into an exemplary return. And I'm going to show you exactly how easy rich returns is for you and for your customers, right? So I think that's a good example, right? So uh, I got to make myself smaller. Like I'm way too big here. So uh, you can see that two products in this order are not eligible for return, right? Then there is a lot of reasons for this. For example, you could have final sale items that the customer purchased at a great discount. You could have hygiene articles, right? It's like we see this a lot with underwear or stuff you just, just want the customer not to return it. So these are excluded. The customer cannot select them. For the other one, let's just say uh, in this example, the customer is called Bob and Bob wants to exchange for a size smaller, right? Because extra large is too large for him, right? So um, they exchange for a different size. And we're gonna check your life inventory like right now without Bob any time asking you at all through email about this and he can select another size, right? Also uh, give a reason, right? <clears throat> like uh, didn't fit too large and you can basically customize these reasons, right? Which means they are also standardized, right? We look at this in a minute, but you can basically see like after a month, like, wow, like 80% of my returns, they come from like two variants, which is very common, right? These, these typical mathematical like uh, 
this, this, this power loaded distribution, like 80-20, like very few of your products or variants will uh, result in a lot of returns because they have, for example, a wrong fit, the manufacturer has some sort of product defects in them. And you can spot this early, right? By, by looking at it like from a numbers perspective and not, like, not going through something like this, right? Where you have like all this random data pulled in and rich returns makes this really easy, right? Um, let's just do exchange here. Obviously, the options that you see here you can customize them as a merchant, right? So for example, you might be someone that only offers exchanges or you might be someone that only offers store credit and exchanges or you might be someone that says, hey, uh, I wanna offer refunds for the first 14 days and because for example, in the EU, I'm legally required to do this, right? Or just because I wanna give customers the option for a refund. And then after 14 days, I wanna only do store credit and exchanges, right? So you can, you can do this in, in, in rich returns, easy. But for this example, let's just uh, let Bob exchange another product. We also have an add-on basically where you can ask customers to upload photos. This is very commonly used, for example, for product defects, right? So you can make it mandatory for customers. In this case, we don't. Um, and now you have the option to provide customers a label, right? Or you can also let them ship with their own carrier, right? That they choose. Um, yeah, in this example, let's just go with uh, ship with the carrier of your choice. Obviously, you can set up rules and rich returns like really fancy stuff like you want to provide some customers, for example, only customers that do exchanges of free label and all the other customers should ship it back at their own expense, right? Uh, you can set different fees. For example, here's a restocking fee. Uh, you don't have to do it. It's optional. Uh, and then Bob submits his return, right? And at this second, he hasn't contacted your customer support at all. He had a great experience because this probably took him like 30 seconds and Third, the money is still in your company, right? So Bob just wants another size. Let's just say the jacket was $100. You keep that $100 without doing anything, right? You're probably just asleep when the Bob does it, right? Um, let's just jump in uh, the Rich Returns backend. <clears throat> and here you see all your, your returns, right? Or your team. And they can, they can work on it live, right? Uh, and like we're as a company, we're like super active, right? So we got like this, you see like this green blinking thing, right? So like each week we push new features, new updates to rich returns, right? Because we're working like very closely with merchants and we're constantly receiving emails from you guys like, hey, like we need this feature, like in our operations, we need this and this and this. So it's, it's a very merchant developer, rich returns, uh, very, a very close relationship, I would say. Which, which means it's a great product because it's really what merchants need, right? So for this one, uh, let's just go ahead and create the exchange order, right? So you would usually do that when you receive the item back from the customer. You can also do it earlier, right? Um, you can restock the original items and not do it at the, at the moment. And then we automatically create the exchange order for you. It's like literally one click, right? So we look at it in Shopify, all the details are there. You don't need to enter anything manually, right? And uh, you see it's a new product that the customer selected all the information. It's linked with the right customer. We also add a note to it and we also add a couple of tags to it so you can easily identify it. And then your team, like either you or your 3PL, for example, your logistics company can fulfill this item, right? Uh, so super, super easy. Uh, this is the entire returns process, right? So you don't have to do much or anything at all, basically. Customers can do it themselves. You set up the policy, you're the manager, you're in control. And then let's look a little bit at the data, right? So we have some pretty fancy reports that basically, let's look at, the, I think we have more data for July, for example. Um, and we basically give you all the data um, on return reasons, for example, right? So this is like super important data where you can see that usually a very, very small set of variants or products, uh, SKUs, will cause a great amount of returns, right? So this data is usually shared then with other people in the team. It might be your manufacturer, right? It might be people in the product department, right? That, that can work on reducing these because if you have a, a very few products that do a lot of returns, you could probably optimize it or increase it or optimize the description on the website, which is, especially if you have clothing, for example, like uh, um, some pants that are too tight and size large, right? Um, that, that's a great way. Reading through, when browsing through customer comments is literally gold because you can, you will never get such an honest feedback than when they go through the process and just add their comments. So this is also, I think, very, very valuable. Yeah, just wanted to give you a very quick peek into, into rich returns. Don't want to overwhelm you with this. I think it's a great way for you to 
especially if you think about like building a solid business, um, building a solid foundation also for the post-purchase experience, right? So for returns, right? Giving customers a great experience, building more automation into your business, right? Making returns more predictable and keeping more money ultimately in the company with exchanges. And we see very high exchange rates, right? Um, even without optimizing for it at all, right? Just enable exchanges, let customer do, do ex um, their thing. And I think it's super helpful and healthy for growing e-commerce business on Shopify, right? Uh, Look for us in the App Store, Rich Returns, or I'm going to link Rich Returns um, below. Hit us up in the customer support. We would love to hear from you. We have a widget directly in the dashboard. You can contact us anytime, and I hope to talk to you soon. All right. Thanks a lot. Catch you. Bye-bye.